What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, my name is Drakesy and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Today we're going to be carrying on the series of best possible squad builders in FIFA 17. Today, as you can see, I'm using the web app for uh, Footwiz on the screen that is showing right now. Uh, we're going to be building a best possible Algeria team using the 3-4-3 formation. So let's get straight into the team. So as we can see in there, we're going to be starting with this goalkeeper called Mboli. Mboli, Mbolhi. I'm not too sure how you would pronounce his name. Sorry if I get any pronunciations incorrect. So as we can see, he's a 69 rated silver rare gold card. Uh, he's a goalkeeper and he's got some decent stats for a 69 rated goalkeeper. Mainly that 80 reflexes stands out. Now we move up to the centre-backs of the team and as we can see this is the 75 rated non-rare gold centre-back centre -back card of, is it Men Medjani? Menjani or it's Medjani? Uh, but as we can see his card is pretty basic looking at it as an overall view. Uh, 61 pace, not the best on a centre-back but not the worst, definitely not. He's got some decent defending stats and physical on the card too so not too bad of a card either. Moving to the central centre-back of the team, and as we can see, it is a team of the season card. This guy is a silver, he's 74 rated. I'm not too sure on the team that he plays for. I think that is out in the Saudi Arabian League. I'm not too sure on the team name, though. Um, and as we can see, the pace isn't the best. Those, These are the stats I tend to look at on a centre-back, the pace, defending and physical. But like I said, pace not the best on this card, 62. But the defending stats are fantastic. 80 defence and then 86 physical. That's incredible on a silver card. But like I said, he is a team of the season. So wrapping up the defence of this team is going to be the 78 rated non-rare gold centre-back card, Mandy. And as we can see, his card shows him playing out in the Spanish league, I believe Real Baptiste. I think they're in the first tier of Spanish football, they might actually be in the second now, I'm not too sure. Uh, but looking at his card, he's probably got the, the, the most decent card because of his pace comes in to, as a massive factor for a centre-back. So as we can see, he's got 68 pace, not the worst. He's got decent dribbling and decent passing for a centre-back as well. Um, but once again, he's got two very good stats in defending and physical for, well, such a low-rated card. Moving on now to the right mid of the team, and as we can see, it is Riyad Mahrez. A very, very nice card. This is the dark orange um, man of the match card, so I'm not too sure. I think it is actually an international man of the match. I could be wrong in saying that. There are two different man of, man of the match cards. One of them is a lighter orange and the other one is a darker orange, if you didn't know. But looking at his card overall, his pace could be a little bit better. Not the worst though at 84. His dribbling is immense at 91. Shooting coming in at 86 and then also passing coming in at 86. If there's one area of improvement, it's probably going to be that physical 67, quite low and uh, maybe a bit on the pace as well. So you could always, I suppose, put a chemistry style on this card and uh, boost it up in stats uh, using them. Moving central with the team now, we now move on to Nabil Bentaleb, ex-Tottenham player, now playing out in the German Bundesliga for Schalke. This is his first in form, I believe, 84 rated. A very, very nice looking card overall for a centre midfielder. Um, he's got all the key stats that you would probably need from a centre midfielder. In my opinion, they are uh, your dribbling, your, your passing and also your physical. So, as you can see, he's got 80s in all of them. But looking at the card overall, we can see it's got uh, 66 pace, not the best. But like I said, not too crucial on a centre midfielder. 83 dribbling, perfect. 77 shootings, not too bad either. Um, 85 passing, fantastic for a centre midfielder. And then also his defending and physical stats coming in at 78 and 83 respectively. Decent stats overall for an 84 rated centre mid card. 
Moving on to his partner in crime in the centre of the pitch, I believe it is Buda Booz. Is it Buda Booz? How you would pronounce his name? This guy has got a very, very cool name, to be honest. If I could have any name, I think I'd be taking that one. Buda Booz. Um, I believe his first name is Riyadh as well. I'm not too sure on that, but I think it might be. Uh, but as we can see, Buda Booz got the best card overall in all of this team. I believe he is the highest rated card for Algeria this year and as we can see it's a 90 rated team of the season centre mid uh, centre mid card I think it does come out as a centre attacking mid so if you are building this team you would either have to buy him as a centre mid or convert him back to a centre mid uh, but as we can see he's playing out in the French league 85 pace on a centre midfielder that's fantastic 92 dribbling 91 shooting 93 passing and then 80 physical this guy's got a fantastic card this year um, but yeah, you kind of expect that from a 90 rated centre mid card, but yeah, fantastic card for him. From one team of the season to another, as we can see on the left mid position of this team, we have the left midfielder, should I say, Hanny. Um, and Hanny's got a decent card playing for Anderlecht in the Belgian Pro League. As we can see, it's an 86 rated left mid card. Um, Looking through the stats in the card, that's what we're going to be doing. But the 76 pace to kick off is not the best. But you know, it, it it kind of it kind of works out when you see the rest of the team. So I'll explain that when we get further through the team. But yeah, pace could do with a bit of an upgrade, but not the worst. Um, 87 dribbling, incredible. 85 shooting, that is incredible. Uh, 84 passing. Once again, fantastic. And then 70 physical, not the best, but like I said, you don't really expect that from a winger, a physical winger. But yeah, I'll explain the pace and how it kind of works out when we've built the team. Now we move up to the right wing of this team. And as we can see, it is Sofian Faguli, ex-Valencia uh, player, I believe. Now playing for West Ham. He could have transferred again, actually. I'm not too sure. Uh, but uh, his card anyway in FIFA this year is playing for West Ham. He's an 80 rated right winger card and he's got 88 pace which is fantastic, uh, 84 dribbling and then he's got some decent stats, 73 shooting not too bad and 72 passing not too bad for a winger. Uh, but as we can see those top two stats look fantastic when you think that this guy is just a base goal card, no upgrades, no nothing. On the left wing, we now have Brahimi, I think it is. And as we can see, he's got an 83 rated rare goal card this year as his best. Left winger out in the Portuguese league, I believe, playing for Porto. Um, and as we can see, once again, no upgrades on this card, but he has, in fact, 81 pace on his card, 88 dribbling, which is immense for a card like this. And then once again, some decent 70 stats on his shooting and his passing. Um, but what, like the main point that I was going to bring up is because you've got double wingers in this team, pace isn't as crucial because you're going to have a lot of people out on the wing so there'll be people to pass to. Uh, but it's just about getting those direct balls in. Also, Hani not having that much pace, you can always pass it on to Brahimi who potentially will be around him or in front of him. And uh, yeah, they can run on with the ball and as you can see, Brahimi's got a little bit more pace. Coming to the pinnacle point of this team, we have Belfadil up top. I think that's the correct way of saying it, I might be wrong, but as we can see once again, another team of the season to wrap up this team. 86 rated striker, playing for standard Liège, I believe that card is, I'm not too sure about that. Um, but as we can see, if I'm right, he will be out in the Portuguese league. He's got 70 pace, which is not the best, but he has got some better stats on his card to back that up. I'm talking about the 85 dribbling, the 83 shooting, 82 passing, and then 87 physical. So a very, very good card there to wrap up the team. Could do a bit more on pace, as I'm sure a few of these guys could. But overall, this is the best possible Algeria squad in FIFA 17 this year. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you in a bit for much more, more content coming in the future. See you in a bit, guys.